we humans are so limited creatures so many things we can't do so many things we would like to do so many things we will never do but anyway i i personally think it's a good good idea to try it is uh, always learning my languages <laughs> i learned so many languages during my life i can't say i learned them i tried to learn them but it was always good fun even though i was very often quite bad because i learned the languages which i could use a little example was my japanese in my studies i learned for one year japanese because i knew i would go to japan and it was 1989 it was really early times in japan to be a foreigner there especially in the countryside and i had this little skill in japanese because one year japanese is not much but there was a little hotel where we were i was there with a friend and there was a businessman who couldn't speak english at all but he liked us and with a little Japanese we could speak and he was no me masho let's drink and so we bought beer and we were drinking and then he invited us to come home to his place and we visited him at home without speaking much but we got whiskey and we got karaoke <laughs> so we were singing together through the night with a person we could hardly speak to so it's worth to try. I really love to try. Hola, que tal? <laughs> Hello, sir. Bien, como estas? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, you, you look friendly. Yes, I wish I could speak more Spanish, but that's about the... <laughs> so I'm very glad that you speak English. <laughs> yes, it's better. <laughs> My Spanish is uh, recepción, cerveza, and <laughs> it, it's limited, but it's a yeah, nice... cerveza, that's one of the first words I, I learned. It's so lovely to, to be here in your country. It's... It, it's Oh, the, I like to be with the local people. Yep. Well, here in the States, you know, we're all, we're pretty friendly folks and we're glad to have it. And the big influx of Spanish speaking people from the South has really changed our culture. You know, in some places uh, you have to say cerveza. It's, it's really <laughs> great. I really enjoy it. I'm glad you're here though, visiting us. Where are you from? I, I'm from Germany and uh, I'm now now here because I never went to the States before. Can you imagine that? And well, how's that possible? I mean, you know, it's like a magnet here. We should be having everybody come in here. It's the, you know, the great place where you come in and all the melting pot and people from every country. You've never been here before. That's kind of amazing. Huh? Well, it, it, it is. And so can you sir can you are you are you you know i'm i'm fully german but but you people you you are from everywhere by by origin uh, this is so interesting yeah i've got some german blood in me you, you couldn't tell by how i speak german you wouldn't want to hear it <laughs> uh, but uh, there's a german background in there i think it's actually swiss german or something and a little english and uh, some italian it's so amazing. It's uh, on the one hand here in Germany, we are surrounded by so many countries and so many different languages. Wherever you go, you speak a different language. But in the States, wherever you go, you can communicate, you can speak. Well, that's mostly true. I mean, there are some places in the deep south where, <laughs> you know, it's it's difficult. I mean, I remember this time I was, well, no, you don't want to hear that story. Oh, I'm sorry. We just, you know, we start getting going on these stories sometimes and we forget that what we're supposed to be doing is going out for a beer. 
What? Is it beer? Is it cerveza? Uh, what, what, what would you like me to drink? I'd like you to bring some of that good German beer. I mean, I visited Germany when I was a kid and my dad was in the army and we uh, had, were stationed over there in Frankfurt or something. And I turned 18 there and I started drinking. That is some good beer you got over there. Yes. So you were always bring any of that with you, did you? You were always 18 in Frankfurt. My God, how wonderful. <laughs> Yes, it's good. Yeah, and of course a beer is famous, but I, I'm I'm interested anyway in local traditions, local beers. Uh, I, I'm sure you have a lot of this as well. Huh? Oh, we got micro breweries every place. You know, there's one just down the road from me here. I mean, we could head down there. Uh, what's that darn thing called? A uh, hummingbird or something? Or no, that's not right. Nice. That's their logo, though. It's a hummingbird. I never can remember the name of the darn beer. So um, thankful that I met you. I think that's a spirit when you travel. It's not a holiday, it's a travel. You meet people and you go out with them. They show you places, food, drinks you never drank before, you never ate before. And you have this little sweet con con conversations like we have. It's beautiful. Oh, well, we got to go have some barbecue then. If we're getting some beer, we got to get some barbecue now. But the only real question is, are you a red sauce or a vinegar based sauce because <laughs> the answer to this question will determine your fate in the south <laughs> that's i don't know i will try both and then i will tell you oh no there are no places that serve both <laughs> okay no 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 you think I... you're you think you're back in germany where there's some kind of like multicultural thing going on there there's in sauces on barbecue there is no multiculturalism I fetch my things and I will be back in one second. <laughs> That's great. When I lived in Louisiana, we were out canoeing one day. Now this was a small group of singles that were going down the river, kind of north of Baton Rouge. So it was semi-bayou country. Now, the thing you got to know about Louisiana and about the Bayou of Louisiana is that the people are awfully protective of their areas. So when we were just canoeing down the middle of this river, minding our own business, these two guys walk out on the bank. Now, of course, since this is Southern Louisiana, they didn't just walk out the bank. They walked out on the bank carrying their guns. And the guns were semi pointed in our direction. And they looked at us and they said, get off our river. Now, the only way we had to get off their river right quick was to pull over to the bank, but that would take us up next to them. And I didn't think and no one who was with me thought that that was what they had in mind. So we paddled on a little faster and as quick as we could, we got out of their sight. But no matter what we did, we couldn't for the next few hours get off their river. Well, since they didn't shoot us, I reckon they were okay with that. We never saw them again, but then we never went back down that river either. <laughs>